What's up, B2 Capital G here, checking out another great piece of Malefics that just got revealed. This is coming out in the 20th Anniversary Legendary Collection, in case you guys have not been keeping up and you didn't see my last Malefic video. Konami is giving the archetype a new batch of support, and every single card so far has ranged from good to great. Konami isn't really reinventing the wheel with the archetype, but they're fixing a lot of the problems that the archetype had and making it just function a lot more smoothly and more consistently. So, this is Malefic Paradox gear. Sounds very similar to the OG Parallel gear. It's a level 1 Dark Machine monster. Zero attack and zero defense, so I guess technically... Not only is it a one-for-one -one target, but it's also a machine duplication target. I probably wouldn't play machine dupe, but I'd consider playing one-for-one. -one. Each effect is a hard once per turn, and it has two effects. First effect says, if a face-up field spell is on the field, you contribute this card. That's a cost. Special summon one Malefic Parallel Gear from your deck, then add one Malefic Monster from your deck to your hand, except another copy of Malefic Parallel Gear. Effect number two, if you would banish a monster to special summon a Malefic Monster from your hand using its own procedure you can banish this card from your field or graveyard instead okay so this card in my opinion it makes malefic parallel gear so much better and i like the fact that not only does it pretty much set up for an instant synchro play because remember that the original malefic parallel gear lets you synchro summon using a monster in your hand it's level two so if you use something like a malefic stardust dragon you can instantly go into paradox dragon this guy is just really a normal summon that turns into Paradox Dragon instantly. And that's important because he can bring back other Synchros. Plus, he's like 4,000 attacks. So, obviously, that's really good. And that entire time, it doesn't rely on you actually having a field spell on the field. Keep in mind, it just says if a face-up field spell is on the field. So, now, if you're playing against something like Trickstar, Salaman, Greats, or Sky Striker, you can actually make your plays based on them having their field spell out. Also, if you do go for that Synchro Summon using the uh, Malefic Monster that you searched in your hand, presumably a big level 8, you now can bring that monster back with Malefic Divide. So this card actually makes multiple kind of plays instantly live. Your Malefic Divide is now live, even though you really didn't have to draw a Malefic monster. Well, outside of your, you know, Paradox gear, obviously. And um, I think that this card is just overall really solid. The Banish effect... That actually might come into play and be kind of useful. Some people have noted that it actually makes Malefic Red Eyes and Malefic Blue Eyes actually playable in this deck, which, you know, is something to consider. I think that it opens up the door for maybe Pot of Extravagance to be played in this deck because if you did want to summon like a Malefic Cyber and Dragon, but you activated uh, Extravagance earlier in the duel, there is a slight possibility that maybe you banished all your copies of cyber and dragon and now you can't summon it but now you can use this guy from the graveyard to summon it instead so obviously that's kind of nice overall this is a fantastic card kind of like a lone fire blossom and a rota built into one it's a plus one on summon it's a one for one target and it gets the deck rolling just really quickly and it doesn't even need a field spell on your side of the field so obviously it's a great card but those are just my thoughts maybe you guys think something different anyways leave it in the comment section below thank you guys for watching as always subscribe if you have not already and turn on that notification bell for daily videos.